Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Face Studio in New York City. We are here with Toadies. Welcome, y'all. Thanks. Um, I can say, y'all, you're from Texas. Yes. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, so, you guys have a new album out. Um, it's called The Lower Side of Uptown. Uh, came out last month. And uh, hopefully, you're going to play a few songs from the new record. Yeah? Uh, okay. Well, at least one from the new record. Or at yeah. least one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, tell us about the first song you're going to play. Um, I think we're going to start off with some old stuff and okay. work our way up to the present. Sounds good. Chronological. Yeah. Um, so this is off the first record. This is called Backslider. <clears throat> Bended knee, nine years old, waiting for just one word. time in the dark just one word backslider Thank you. Um, so, of course, that is an awesome song. Um, but I also wanted to talk about um, Box Slider. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> for anyone tuning in who is not aware, um, you guys have your own beers. Yeah. And I um, actually reviewed <coughs> that one for Paste. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Um, it was very delicious. Thank you. How did you get it up here? Um, Erica. Hey. Ah, oh, we smuggled here. it in. Yeah. Um, but I was wondering if you could tell everyone. Um, how you got into this beer collaboration, how it happened. Uh, and what other puns you have for names. <laughs> most people don't know this, but I've been a fan of beer for most of my adult life. <laughs> Maybe even before. Probably starting in high school. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, we uh, were looking at, uh, we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of Rubberneck. And there's a brewery in Fort Worth called Martin House, and they were looking at their first year of being a brewery. And so we celebrated that whole thing with uh, Rubberneck Red, and it's like a shiner type, or a, it's a Bach. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that was really good. And, uh, that was a red. That was a red. It was a red. Red ale. That's right. Because the next one was Bach Slider, which is a Bach, because it's in the name. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Huh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I think we all need a round. I think I need, I think I need several. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then uh, the next year we did two beers with them. We did Hell Below and Stars Above, which uh, both are really good on their own. Hell Below is kind of dark, and it's a dark, 
yeah, it's like a heavy, fruity beer. And uh, Stars Above is real light and crisp. And they're both good, but you mix them together and it makes purgatory and it's killer. What? Super Whoa. good. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and all these were meant to be one-offs, uh, and Box Slider just hit so hard that they just kept, we just keep making it. That's awesome. So, uh, and we're working on, uh, Artie and Talks for one for next year of like a, kind of a, a wheat beer, I think we talked about. <coughs> just starting out, yeah. We started at the, what kind of beer we want to make, then they knock out a couple of flavors, and Rez and I are the resident, uh, beer drinkers, so we go, uh, test them. <laughs> Sounds Which like a rough is life. Grueling. Yeah. yeah. Grueling. And uh the exacting process. Yeah. Uh, we sacrifice so you can enjoy. Because we get we're givers, that's what it is. Obviously. Uh, but yeah, it's a, the frustration is that we can't take it, we can't sell it outside of Texas because of the TABC. Oh. So uh So I really did get smuggled. Yeah, it got smuggled. It did. Damn straight. <laughs> uh, I have been told <clears throat> that you can go online and order a can. And, well, Singular. yeah, it, it, you might be able to specify whether it's been opened or not. Because people just, collect these. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I'm not advising anyone break the law. <laughs> Never. But if you wanted to, that's how you do it. When we got back together in 07, we recorded a record, and uh, this is a song off of that. And uh, it was the last song that needed vocals. And I hadn't written the words yet, and I got real fucking pissed at the song. <laughs> and uh, so. <laughs> For being so, too pretty and. Yeah, and it's just like, and it wasn't coming to me, so I said, well, there's the song. So this is called Song I Hate. up on you How could I ever call you mine You're too pretty Too simple Too easy You're just a waste of time
Thank you. So, like we talked about, you guys have uh, all kinds of interests in other projects, and yet um, everyone keeps coming back to Toadies. What what brings you back to to this band, to this project, um, after so many years? Um. Money. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go with uh, camaraderie and uh, teamwork, but uh, money doesn't hurt. <laughs> but I mean, you took a hiatus from this band. I mean, it was not a thing for a while. You played, you know, what was thought to be a one-off reunion show in two thousand six. Yeah, yeah. And and here we are, like again, still. Right. Yeah, we all split it off and did our own things. I had a band called the Burden Brothers during that time, and we did uh, two records and toured a whole lot. Um, and then I sat down to write the next record, and I got several songs into it, and I went, that's not Burden Brothers, that's Toadies. So uh, I called what up the was, guy. Like, what's the differential? Like, what, what made you, you know? Uh, it's hard to say. Band. I don't know. Toadies is just weirder, and, uh, and, and just always, there's something messed up about it. I love that that's nodding. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the Burden Brothers was more like a big, like big sounding, almost glammy type rock, which was cool, and we had a great time. Uh, but when I was writing, it was like, no, this is like two guitars and bass and drums. I know this. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here we are, indeed. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about the new record, if you're going to uh, play a song from that. Yeah, yeah. It's called, as you said, The Lower Side of Uptown. Um, which is taken from the first song. It's a line from the first song on the record. Um, and uh, we went in the studio with our producer friend, uh, Frenchie Smith, and uh, went in with a few riffs and a couple of songs that were completed and banged out a whole record and then some bonus tracks in just no time. It was great. That's awesome. And um, had all the stuff recorded, and uh, then we sent it off to our good friend, uh, Rob Schnaft. Our good, good friend, Rob Schnapp. <laughs> friend. <laughs> and uh, and um, he was probably nodding and going, good story. Yeah. But uh, anyway, um, uh, and he mixed it, and we had our, you know, our dream team, basically, for a record, and it was killer. Cool. Yeah, and we're really proud of it. It sounds really good. It's a big, big rock and roll record, you know? Good. Needed. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about uh, this song then. Okay, this song is a cover, uh, which these guys, once we got back together, they were trying to convince me to to record it or just do a cover of, or just t put, just touch it. And I'm like, I, screaming Jay, man, this is this is I put a spell on you. You can't touch that. And so um, they finally wore me down, and uh, now it's my favorite song of the night on this tour. Yeah. So. Uh, so we'll see if it's the favorite song of the day Let's see. as Let's well. See.
Thank you. Yeah, yeah. that sounded awesome. Oh, thanks. Um, so you're playing tonight uh, here in New York at the Gramercy Theater. Um, Tickets still available, we are told. Excellent. Everyone tuning in, get on that. Um, and then you're on tour basically for the rest of the month and then headed back to Texas. Yep. So all those dates are online. Um, again, new album is called The Lower Side of Uptown. Toadies, everyone. Thank you so much. And come Thank, back you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. <laughs>